Evening, friends. We start tonight with a standoff on the prairie. North Dakota's governor has ordered protesters fighting the Dakota Access Pipeline to immediately evacuate. Governor Jack Dalrymple issued an executive order Monday citing safety concerns as winter weather barrels down the Cannonball River where thousands are camped out. RT Simone Del Rosario joins me tonight from Washington to tell us more about what is going on. Simone, what's the situation now? Ed, this order comes just a few days after the Army Corps of Engineers said protesters had until December 5th to leave. That would be this coming Monday. Now, North Dakota Governor Jack Dalrymple's mandatory evacuation order is effective immediately. You can see from this aerial footage that was shot by Drone to be Wild. The camp is covered in snow. In fact, most of North Dakota facing a winter storm warning through tomorrow night. This is what Cannonball North Dakota has to look forward to over the next 10 days. So we have snow over the next couple of days. Temperatures then dropping down into the teens at night. Now, December 5th, that's Monday, that's when this evacuation from the Army Corps of Engineers, that's when they said everyone has to go. And the reason is because the next day, December 6th, temperatures going to get down to zero degrees at night. It gets worse down to the negatives. The high on Thursday expected to be six degrees. Now, initially, it sounded like a Authorities and protesters would go head to head on that evacuation day with water protectors vowing to stay there. So the Army Corps of Engineers clarified its earlier order, saying it has no plans for forcible removal, but those who choose to stay do so at their own risk as emergency fire, medical, and law enforcement response can't be adequately provided in that area. The governor took it a step further in his latest executive order, saying anyone who enters, re enters, or remains in the evacuation area is subject to legal penalties. He directed state agencies, emergency service officials, and non-governmental organizations to reduce threats to public safety by not guaranteeing emergency services in the evacuation area. Now, the evacuation area that we are looking at is going to be north of the water in Morton County. You can see it hashed out here in the red. That's where thousands of people have been coming to for months. That's where they are continuing to camp out, but where they're supposed to evacuate. The Army Corps of Engineers has set up a much smaller free speech area over here, but so many of these diehard protesters and tribal members vowing to stay. While these evacuation orders are being done in the name of safety, the NGO Greenpeace says, ironically, the same governor who ignored the use of rubber bullets and water cannons in sub-freezing temperatures against protectors now claims to want to remove them from their well-being through the winter. If Governor Del Rimple or the Army Corps of Engineers truly cared about the health and well-being of water protectors, they would put an end to the pipeline once and for all. And while those who stay and ignore these evacuation orders are risking legal repercussions, it does not sound like they will be forcibly removed from the camp. But as the temperatures continue to drop there on the ground, a lack of emergency services could be dangerous for those taking a stand at Standing Rock, Ed. All right, Simone, thanks for that report tonight. And